They did not respond to our submissions at all. They just filed something in order to meet the deadline. We took that point. And now, Your Honours, what we have is a 51-page response to our case, supported by 23 authorities, which we have not had an opportunity to read. So that this document that was supposedly their submission is not responsive. Now they are responding to the case. Had they put that in on the 30th, then my reply would not have been only five pages. It would have responded substantively to what my learned friends now seek to advance. Since council took those issues, we decided that if those are going to be an issue which the court will require us to address in order to reach a decision, then we should address them. Hence, the expanded speaking note. Your Honours, also the technical issues containing the application were taken before the Court of Appeal, where we said the declaration sought and the facts in the declaration are not factually correct. No, but did you submit to the Court of Appeal that, or to the trial judge, that the remedy of certiorari was not available because Speednet was not an adverse party? No. Was, was not a party that was adversely affected? Affected, yes. Not in those uh, words. Yeah, but we, you, you can't raise them here for the first time, Mr. Lomar. Well, uh, the, there is the issue uh, decided by the trial judge. She used the word having substantial interest. But the rules go back uh, beyond that to say, when you say you have substantial interest, they break it down to include whether the person is adversely affected. And that point was taken by the trial judge. And a finding was made on it. But Mr. Yeah. Luxmo, if, if you are taking that point, is the effect of your submission that they have no locus standi because these are JR proceedings? Is that the point you're making? Yes. So that that is a preliminary point. Mr. Lomo, at some point in our rules, we would need to address this issue of speaking notes because um, it can't be right that we could give directions for written submissions and after those submissions have been put in, the day before the trial, someone presents a 51-page document and calls it a speaking note. And it is a document that it, it, it goes completely outside what is in the written submissions. This is in effect a new set of written submissions. And I agree with Mr. Courtney that it's a kind of ambush. It's not that it's a kind of, it is an ambush because you are asking not just him, but the court, because we prepare before the day of the hearing. You are asking us now to have to read these new cases and to consider uh, new grounds or points on which to determine the, the merits of this case. This is something which we deprecate. We can't support this at all. Um, as to the point which really is a point in limine, um, we will not allow you to, to raise that point at all.